Do you know what happens when you take a beautiful Godbuster Mega Stomper model, let your Patreons run wild with their ideas for rules for it, then get them to choose a mission in which the Imperium has to try and take it down somehow? You get this episode of 40k in 40 minutes, All Stars! Tim McDowell here, and no, I still haven't found my pants, but I'm welcoming you to this special episode of All Stars. We present to you today a special 2500 point aside match in a custom mission, all centered around the biggest, baddest, stompiest boy in the room, the Cromlack God Busta Mega Stomper. Returning player James Mr. Initiative Jones is here to pilot the orc side of things, and in addition to the stomper, he's brought a detachment of goths led by a big mech with a shock attack gun, and a war boss with a super cyborg body, two squads of beast naga boys and two squads of regular boys, a knob on a smash a squig, some squig hog boys and some war bikers, a battle wagon and a bone breaker wagon, a daca jet and two trucks, of course, the death stomper in the room, Jerry the God Buster Mega Stomper. Jerry, 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 Jerry. <laughs> the producer tier patrons helped us create rules for Jerry. You've read them. What do you think of Jerry? That's no moon. <laughs> <laughs> At top tier, Jerry the God Busta Mega Stomper moves 14 inches and has 60 wounds at a toughness of 14. He can carry up to 25 orc infantry inside his belly, does D3 mortals on a charge if he completes it, and explodes similarly to a big Dominus class Imperial Knight. It also moves like a super heavy in that it can fall back and still shoot, and charge and step over not just infantry, but also buildings. He gives out a five up invulnerable save to orc units wholly within 12 inches of him, but really it's about the weaponry and our Patreons did not disappoint here. <laughs> for just a thousand points. Just what can Steve muster to counter this monstrosity of God stompiness? He's brought one of the best anti-orc chapters in the game though, the Crimson Fists, and he's gonna need them with House Terran knights in support. Led by a Gravis Captain and a Primaris Librarian, he has a Heavy Intercessor Squad, an Infiltrator Squad, and a 10-man Tactical Squad? Wait, what? Is he fitting in Mini Marines again? They have a Melta, a Combi Melta, and a Heavy Bolter. He's got Terminators with Power Fists and a Cyclone Missile Launcher, and those will all start in Deep Strike Reserve. A squad of Assault Bolter Interceptors are also in Deep Strike Reserve, and a Gladiator Reaper, a Stalker, and Drop Pod, which will be filled with the aforementioned Mini Marine Squad. For his Knight Detachment, he's got two Armager Warglaives, a Knight Gallant, and a Knight Errant with Reaper Chainsword. He too starts with 16 Command Points. Will that be enough to stop the orc onslaught? We are about to find out! Our mission today is also Patreon decided. We will be playing a short table edge engagement or hammer and anvil deployment as it's called. Six objectives are player placed and they must place one in their own deployment zone, one in their opponent's deployment zone, and one in the no man's land. In this mission, they'll score five points for holding two objectives, five more for holding three objectives, and five more for holding more than their opponent at the end of their turn to a maximum of 15 per turn and 45 for the game. For secondaries, both James and Steve have chosen the exact same secondaries out of the GT 2021 handbook. Engage on all fronts, recover Octarius data, and bring it down. Not only did our Patreons create the mission and the rules for Jerry, the planet also has special battle zone rules. There are whirling winds. It's a hot, dry, and dusty place, and all units will receive minus one to hit on all ranged attacks made against units more than 12 inches away. There are sinking sands. The ground here is unstable from decades of Imperial blasting and mining operations. All units on the battlefield reduce their movement characteristic by one inch unless they have the fly keyword. To help the Imperial player out, because against Jerry the Godbuster Mega Stomper, he's probably gonna need it, 
To represent scattered munitions and debris, we have the Imperial Mining Charges Stratagem for two command points. Steve can use this during his command phase to randomly select a table quarter, choose a unit within the table quarter, and that unit is immediately dealt D3 plus one mortal wounds. Not a bad even up stratagem. This episode is brought to you by the manufacturer of Jerry the God Busta Mega Stomper, Cromlech. Cromlech.eu is your go-to source for bits of war, resin bases, full models, and even amazingly detailed terrain. They have some fantastic sculpts and make really cool alternatives for some of the more common game systems. Check them out at Cromlech.eu. Looking at deployment here, and it's pretty straightforward, there really is nowhere to hide that massive god bust of Mega Stomper that we've called Jerry, and he's poised to run right at Steve's lines. Steve really needs to go first here, I think, to try to put the hit on James first. He has set up as best as he can, I think, to mitigate the incoming storm, but that god bust of Mega Stompa is just insane. I want to take some pot shots at Jerry, and I want to maybe, maybe even like pop one of your other vehicles as well. You uh, want to go first, but you won't, Mr. Initiative. No, oh, it's a four. <laughs> Please, no. <laughs> no, it's a three. <laughs> James oh, no. has got first turn. Uh, Mr. Ruh, Mr. This could be rough. Oh. So, and good game. Okay, boys, that's enough. Let's play. Up to 17 command points now, and advance is the order of the day here as James looks to be closing as quickly as he can with Steve. Jerry the God Busta Mega Stomper is pushed right up the middle of the table and into Steve's grill. The knight is probably like, whoa, like this is not what I signed up for. You put your characters right there. I did. And I was able to just snake right in. Dakajet targeting a librarian. Interesting choice, but he can eliminate the protection of an invuln save bubble if he kills him right now. So six times six, that's gonna be 36 shots coming into you. On fives. Oh, here we are. There's so many shots, why? 12 hits. All right, that's okay. Threes. Only five wounds. One, nice one, so yep. I go to fours. Come on, baby, you can do it. Only takes two wounds. Okay. Three whole wounds remaining on this Siger. Boom. I guess I'll shoot his big shooter uh, just into this knight. Um, you're outside 18 inch, so I'll just have my three shot. Here we are. Ah, two hits. One wound. Three up. Good to go. That battle wagon over there. Here we are. He has four big shooters, and then he has his lava. With the lava, I will put that into the intercessors, the heavy intercessors, uh, for four shots. One hit. The big shooters are just gonna go over here. So into the work life? Yeah, 20 shots. This? Two wounds. Two whole wounds. No AP. AP. No AP. So three up on the work life. Make some both. Make both. The year of Steve continues. Boo, Jerry time. Here comes Jerry. Looks like the Knight Gallant is about to take the majority of Jerry's fury right to his face with some scattered shots into other targets. Okay, so these are all Patreon created rules. The Godly Gatling gun is a DACA 4020. You've got 30 inches of range, and if you're within 15 inches, it shoots 40 times. This guy's within the range, so I'm just gonna put that into him so I can get Sweet. maximum shots. Oh. The Boom Boom Blasta. Same target. The Death Ray, now this one, I have to draw a line. There's a 75 inch line from Jerry. It has one elected target, which gets the brunt of its firepower, and then any intervening units along that one millimeter line. This guy will be the target, so through this stand into this guy's stand. All right, sounds good. And then the Gut Busta Cannon. I'm gonna put it into him. <laughs> the lead launches will put into the Heavy Intercessors. Sure. Steve responds by rotating ion shields for a command point to take him down to 15 remaining. So we'll start with the godly Gatling gun, DACA 4020, so it's gonna be 40 shots into this knight right here. Yeah. Wow, Jerry! Luckily I have C8, so you're wounding me on five. Whoo, thank goodness. 
The Emperor freaking protects. Five wounds. Four ups, come on, baby. Oh yeah, Six only one. Takes one. The other 20 shots. Another four wounds. On force. I fail three of them. No. Next is the boom, boom blast. Uh, Floyd Porter. Quality work on this gun. 30 inch range, heavy D6, strength 10, AP minus three, damage D6, D6 <laughs> shots. Oh no. Command point reroll for James and the number of shots down to 16 now. Take it, I'll take three. On fours. Two whole hits. Strength 10, threes. Three. Oh no! Yes! Jerry, let's do the death ray. This is this is some more quality work from Dr. Rhino. Yeah. So uh, so you roll to hit the, the big guy, so on fives, because you're minus one. Ah, oh, thank goodness. <laughs> so all we got left here is the gut buster cannon. Credit on this one goes to Grady McCormick. 36 inch range, okay. heavy 2d6 shots, strength nine, AP minus three, damage D3, blast. If the weapon hits, units with the non-vehicle keyword within 13 inches are moved away from the target unit in a straight line, three inches. 2d6 shots. <laughs> 11 <laughs> shots. Well, the DeGallant is taking this to the face. <laughs> On fours. Ooh. Oh my. So you're strength nine, so I'm, I'm toughness eight, so you're on threes. Love it. This yeah. is AP minus three. Okay, so I have a four I've been involved in the rotated ion shields. Love it. <gasps> I fail one of them. D3 damage? For three. For three? Oh no! <laughs> the concussive force. And back go the infantry from the concussive force. Lead launchers into the heavy intercessors to no effect. I think it's time to charge. How far away am I from that knight? You need to get an 11. And I'm gonna use the two CP stratagem. Ramming speed. <laughs> so I'm gonna have a three D6 inch charge. Show <laughs> me 11. I absolutely rerolled that. So this brings me down to 14. Show me 11. <laughs> oh, Jerry. I did not think that Jerry could get ramming speed. Well, in Jerry goes. Oh, but on a two plus ramming speed, I'm gonna do some mortal wounds to you. I you do. totally do. So uh, I believe it's a D3. Oh no. Yeah, okay, two more wounds down to 15. God Stomper Mega Saw. So I'm gonna go with the Crush Profile, yeah. which is Strength times two, AP minus four, damage three plus three D3. Ooh, crushing saw attacks here, and I think that knight may be in serious trouble. However, any hit rolls of one give me a mortal wound from my 60 wounds. Michael Pettit back again, just, just slaying just it. Slaying just it. slaying it. Hitting on twos. There's a bunch of ones? There's just nothing one, but ones. One, 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 one. So down to 59. I wonder if we have like a little Jerry tracker. Like, we should have that maybe. Yep, right here. Right up there. So seven hits. Coming in I, at strength of 20. Yeah. Twos. Okay. He hit seven times at strength 20. Ooh. That knight gallant just took 12 D3 plus 12 damage. Who made this saw? I, Michael Pettit. Okay. All right, Mike. If he was here, I'd pet him. Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh, no. <laughs> this is damage? Oh my. He's so dead. He's super dead. Sadly, no explosion, but a really dead knight. Jerry can't be stopped. Jerry can't be stopped, yeah. You're merely, you're merely a Steve to the Jerry. Wow. I'm merely a Steve to the Jerry. Right? James scores two for engage at all fronts and two for bring it down to give him four points at the midpoint of turn one with 13 command points remaining. Steve has only lost a knight gallant this turn, and I feel that he got off pretty lucky. If he can get away from Jerry, he can possibly dance his way to victory here, but it's still just the first turn. Steve's turn one, up to 16 command points. So we're gonna move the knight up a little bit.
Drop Pod is down and behind James's lines. All the excitement about Jerry, and he seems to have forgotten that Steve had a drop pod. At the end of my movement phase, the unit of tactical Marines that have the heavy bolter in them, yep. they are gonna uh, rod in this table quarter here. So retrieve Octarius data done in this table quarter. We're gonna go into the psychic phase. Yep. That librarian there is going to just rock um, Psychic Fortress to give everybody invulnerable saves. Yep. Do it. Yeah, he does it. And then he's gonna smite that plane. Get it out of the skies. 10. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Three. Oh, the year of Steve very much continues. Uh, down to nine. The unit of tactical marines that have the melta guns. Yep. So the knob on the smash the squig is gonna get shot. Steve's spending one command point on Slay the Tyrant to get plus one to hit, and one more on Hated Foe to reroll failed wounds versus orcs. That's gonna take him down to 14. Two double ones. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Wounding on threes, re-rolling because of hated, hated foe. No. Two didn't need and it. AP minus four. They didn't even equal six together. Oh, okay. 2d6 damage for nine hole damage. Get him out of here. Down goes the knob on the smash a squig, and that takes James off the objective, too. I'm gonna shoot my rapid fire storm bolter into your uh, beast riders. Threes. One wound at AP nothing. Four up. You got it. I'm just gonna take the this Crimson Fist unit of uh, infiltrators right here, and they're gonna shoot into the Bone Breaker Battle Wagon, and they auto wound on sixes to hit. Love it. Uh, there's one six in there, boom. There's four hits. Six is to wound. Oh, oh there yeah. you go. So two more, so Battle Wagon's have a three up save now. That's true. I fail one, down to 15. Okay, okay, okay. okay. No, it's still good. It's still good. Everything's just fine. You just want to concede? No. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm going to shoot everything into the Bone Breaker Battle Wagon. First up, uh, twice over on threes, fives. Oh, oh. whoa, whoa. Uh, so six AP minus twos. Yeah. Five up. I saved two of them, so he loses four, four wounds. And then the Tempest uh, Bolters. On six is up. Two wounds. Hey. Hey. Okay, so right. save them both. So I'm gonna go to the war glaive and it's gonna shoot the bone break. Well. Sounds good. So the thermal spirit uh, gets D3 shots. Two shots. Peace. Two hits. Look at this. Wars. Come on, baby. Got one. I am going to re-roll this with a command point. Spending a command point on the Warglaive's Thermal Spear damage takes Steve down to 13, but sees no improvement. Still puts one through in the Bone Breaker, but it's still up. Down to five. So I'm gonna shoot my Stalker into the Daka Jet? Yep. On threes. Let's see it. Boom. Stalker into the Daka Jet. Oh, what a poor roll to wound. The Daka Jet is still flying. Saved one. Uh, okay, so the uh, heavy intercessors are going to shoot uh, their weapons into the planes. Fives. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five. Oh yeah. Heavy intercessors, same target, and the jet is still up. My character knight with the relic armor, he's gonna shoot his thermal cannon here at the, um, at the battle wagon. No hits, that's nice. bad. And then his heavy stubba is gonna go into the, um, the jet. Fives. Oh, none of them. So heavy stubber into the plane. Two hits on five. One wound. Saved. D3 shots from the thermal spear. No. Three. Oh no. Get it, baby. Two. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, one of them, maybe minus four. Goes, cuts right in. 2d6, taking the highest. Come on, I need a four. You need a four. You didn't get it. I think the captain has to do the exact same, same, same thing. Same, yeah. We're not in kill team, so it's okay. Yeah. Hit Hits him. Oh, four. I wound you, even minus one. Five up. Oh no. See if you crash and burn. Oh. Finally, the Daka Jet goes down to the captain's gun. That plane took so much to take down, Steve's gotta be disappointed. So I'm gonna go into my charge phase. Knight Errant charges in the truck, and the infiltrators charge into the battle wagon. I'm gonna start with the, the big guy over there. Okay. I'm just gonna hit it with the sword. I wanna make try and make sure You're I kill the it. Big, the big smash. The big swings, yeah. On threes. Really? Oh no. It's all right. On twos. That's all you all need. need. Twos. Yeah, so 12 damage through. Uh, killing it. Explosion. Oh, oh one again. Ooh. Ooh, that knight chops that truck into bits, and one orc dies getting out. So this unit here. I think I'm going to interrupt here. Two command points for James to interrupt with his battle wagon, takes him down to 11 remaining, and he does kill an infiltrator, 
but he's not enough to kick Steve off that objective. And a turn, and Steve has three for bring it down, two for engage in all fronts, for five points total, and he's performed retrieve Octarius data once, with 13 command points remaining. James has got 11 command points left and has scored two on engage and two on bring it down for a total of five to four in favor of Steve at the end of turn one. Jerry seems to be unstoppable. So I am not going to even try. And I'm gonna keep the scores close. Do you play to the mission, Steve? Play to the mission. I just play to the mission and everything will be just fine. I'm playing to the grander orc mission, which is crump them, crump them good. James goes up to 12 command points on the top of his turn, and he's really hemmed Steve in the back corner, but Steve managed to kick him off two objectives last turn, so he's only scoring five for primary for holding two. So these guys are gonna jump out of this truck. And then they move this way, away from you. They're just running away, eh? Mm-hmm. You're just playing to the mission, Steve, so I figure I better do <laughs> You better do something. Suit and do you it. better do something similar? Yeah. So these guys jump into the truck, back to safety. Minute, 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 minute. War boss out of here. The big mech's gonna jump out too. Okay. These guys are gonna retrieve Octarius data in this quarter. That's it. Let's do some. Uh, let's do some shooting. Battle wagon using its guns and close support to try and shake off those intercessors. Fives. Six wounds. They're space marines. They can live through this, right? They totally can. One guy takes one wound. That's it. Let's do the shock attack gun. Shock attack gun now into the night, and Steve's rotating ion shields again for one command point. Takes him down to 12, but the shock attack gun misses. Then we'll do the big shoot into you. Zero wounds. I'll do the squig hogs. They do have some shots. So the guy in front with his sticker, he hits. Looking yeah. for A3. No. I'll just do the guy behind him. Same same weapon, his sticker. He misses. Now the furthest guy, the last guy, sticker, misses. And then the two of the saddle get weapons, which are strength four AP nil. Here we go. Uh, here we go. They miss. And then they release the bomb squig on you. So on a three up, and oh. it fails to hit. Oh. Nothing left will. to do but Jerry, 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 Jerry. Jerry with all the guns. So where's it all going, my man? Death ray on these guys through your captain. Sure. Gatling cannon, the godly Gatling gun, and the boom blaster into this little armager right here. Okay. And then I'm gonna put the gut buster cannon into that armager. Okay. And we'll do the lead launchers into this guy, the armager. I'll start with this armager here. Okay. So lead launchers, uh, he's well within the good range, so he is looking at 15 shots. Lead launcher, shoot! Two? Good. Godly Gatling gun shoots! So three wounds there. Wow. Oh, wow. So six plus the other three, nine total. Okay, here we are. Oh, oh good, hey, all right. Hey. Uh, You're Steve. You fail three of them. You're Steve. So down from 12 to nine? Yeah. Now the boom blaster! D6 shots for two. Thank goodness. Demolish the cannon this thing. Hits them both though. Oh no. These are strength 10, so threes. Wounds them both. Okay, so five up in balls. Come on, I need to make both of these. Neither. That's bad. Oh, for 11, 11. Does he blow up? <laughs> he totally doesn't. Down goes the armager that we can't see on the overhead because Jerry is just so big. These guys are now gonna eat that laser. Yeah. Look out! He's a fire in his laser! Yeah. Hits me. Into the heavy intercessors, one model just fizzles out of existence, but the captain dodges the laser line. Gut bust a cannon targets the other armature and a command point reroll for number of shots. Sees James down to 11. On fours. Three. So on fives. Huh. Oh, I pass one, so I only take 2d3. For five. Oh, well, oh. hmm. I see. Special rule kicking in, reordering the board infantry again. 
Even your orcs can't handle the boom that is his belly gun. Share any longer. All right, so your charge phase. So the uh, Squig Hog boys are gonna charge into those units there. Steve's overwatching the Squig Hog boys for a command point, now down to 11, but he manages two kills in Overwatch. Wow! I told you to let them get in so we could see what they could do. Never! It's a new model, which means you're not allowed to actually use it. Watch him get double ones and fail. Yes, here we go. Yeah. I'm gonna charge your character knight with Jerry. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Oh, uh, yeah, that's totally making it. Jerry smashes the building aside as he charges into the knight errant. I think it's in trouble. Hello. This battle wagon here charges into those guys. Yeah, that makes sense. Battle wagon charges the infiltrators. The war boss goes into everything. I had to make up for it after these orc boys ran away from the fight. Let's fight. My war boss has five attacks, plus two with his squig. I'm going to put two squig attacks and the one power claw attack into him. Everything else into the intercessors. Okay, sounds good. Two squig attacks. And then one claw attack. Ew, ooh, the claw missed. Ooh, command point reroll, down to 10, and the claw still misses the librarian. Oh, serious force? Neither. Uh, Four yeah. now into the heavy intercessors, and it only does two what? damage. That's it. What a whiff. Way to go, Nick. <laughs> Made me charge me to everything for that. <laughs> Shouldn't have listened to Nick, James. Shouldn't have listened to Nick. Steve interrupting for two command points, down to nine, interrupting with the knight. Oh no, oh Jerry's down to only 54 wounds. Is that right? 54? What the heck have our Patriots done? <laughs> How did they think I was gonna kill it? They didn't. They didn't. I gotta play around it. People love orcs, not space marines. That's true. I guess I will uh, hit you back now. First, D3 mortals on the charge. All right, three mortals. Damn it, Jerry. <laughs> Jerry does three mortals to himself, but he's done so much damage to the knight, it really doesn't matter. Down goes the knight, Steve spending two command points on Noble Sacrifice, takes him down to seven remaining, trying to blow himself up, and it works! All models within 2d6 inches of that knight will take d6 mortal wounds. 2d6 Nick! inches. Nick! Roll big. It's nine inches. Jerry takes another three mortals, and I think he's down to 48 remaining. The Big Mac with shock attack oh. gun, though, takes five mortals and dies! Steve's gonna spend a command point on transhuman physiology for his infiltrators to make that red roll of wagon only win him on fours or better. Five of them. I really need this. No. Come on, please! Oh, that's the squad. Didn't help, though. Down goes the squad. Here we go. Squig hog boys. Here we go. Uh, everything into Melta Squad. Steve is using Pain as a Lesson on his Tax Squad here to gain a six up field of pain. He's down to five command points remaining, and he manages to save a couple of the squad. Uh, from the Melta Squad, in, uh, on threes. One whole wound. He takes it. This uh, unit of Tactical Marines, they pile in. Another command point on Hated Foe to reroll all wounds into that lone Squig Hover boy. He's down to four now, and James counters with a command point spin to reroll a save himself to take him down to nine, and he lives! He keeps Steve off that back objective as well. Back and forth, rerolls and rerolls, cats and dogs living together. It's mass hysteria! Hey, now where's my shirt? The captain in Gravis armor. So he's in on twos, and then on fours. Uh, so four AP minus fives. Four up in bone. I saved two. Four damage through. Uh, halved? It halves damage two? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Down from six down to four. Warboss has taken some wounds, but he's dead hard and will cause Steve some headaches as we go forward here. Two for engage on all fronts for James, four more for bring it down, and five primary sees him at 15 points total and nine command points remaining as we head into Steve's turn two with a score of 15 to five. Steve gains command point in his command phase to go to five, and he gains five on primary to be at 10. You know what? I'm choose. I'm gonna spend uh, two CP, and I'm gonna detonate mining charges. One, two, three, four. Randomly selecting a table quarter to do mortal wounds in. Love this Patreon design strategy. Hey! <sighs> Ooh, the truck takes three mortals. Not a bad spend at all, but he is down to three command points. I'm gonna start with, uh, 
This guy right here. So he's not bracketed at all yet. We're just gonna run up. The four-man unit of tactical marines are gonna disengage. Interceptors are in from reserve at the back of the board, lining up on a unit of boys. So, uh, okay, so then over there, he is going to null zone. I might. Oh, I don't get it. Oh, thank God. I'll smite you. I do. Three. Do you want to shoot my war boss with a bunch of pistols now? Just get that over yeah, with. Sure. One wound. Uh, uh, uh. Ooh, a command point reroll to save that squig hopper boy sees James down to eight. Well, oh no, it was a one. I saw it. That was bolt storm gauntlet oh, off God. of the guy. Yeah. So on twos. Oh no. Come on, sixes. Oh, what, AP minus one. Oh no! If only he had a reroll for his war boss. The war boss goes down to pistols. No wog for James this game. That's brutal. I botched that wog. Oh, yeah, right. I forgot to call the wog. I need the war boss to call it. So then the stalker is going to shoot everything into the truck. Three AP minus ones. Nope. Two damage a piece, but I think it's. So I have one wound left. Dumped. Stubba's into the into the truck on threes. All of them. Come on, baby. One wound. Oh. Woo! I'm gonna throw the thermal spear from the knight into this into the battle wagon. One, one shot. shot. On threes. Hits. Steve re-rolling to wound the red roll of wagon and he fails. Oh no, down to two command points. Loving every minute of it. And the gladiator will shoot everything into the bone breaker. So this is from the uh, um, Tempest launchers. Sixes, nope. And then from the super big gun. That's better. Yeah, that's pretty good. Strength five. There you go. Four so far. That was garbage. Okay, so five AP minus ones. I only saved one. Oh boy! Gladiator only takes the red roll of wagon down to one wound. That's the story of this game. A hated foe again for Steve, down to just a single command point, but he's re-rolling failed wounds against the orcs with those interceptors. Two of them into the boys, one of them into the bikers. Okay. Oh, force re-rolling. Eight AP minus ones into the uh, biker. So on threes. Force. Oh, shoot. Uh, so six, AP minus ones. Fives. Uh, save two, so four go in. So then what will happen is we'll go to charges. Only one successful charge, the war glaive into the truck, and down it goes. Save explodes. No. We go to your selection right here. So three attacks from a sticker. Three. Gets it. Two flat. Blech. Ongoing fight sees no change in that bottom corner, and James is spending two command points to auto pass morale on his boy squad to take him down to six remaining. I think if in the earlier rounds, if you'd have uh, just ignored Jerry more and tried to focus on other stuff with them, you'd have got more work done. Yeah, I think so. In a turn, and Steve has engaged all fronts for three, and one more bring it down to go to a total of 14 to James's 15, with Steve having only one command point to James's six. What a tight match as we head into turn three. Top of turn, and James goes to seven command points, gains 10 on primary. Steve still has Terminators in reserve. Ba -ba -ba! Urch. Oh, they look so nude. <laughs> When you said they look like shaved gorillas because you did flesh tones, yeah, it's totally true. Actually, we should almost blur it out because they're kind of naked. Thanks, Ben. He's got to come up with like a ton of like super snazzy and ridiculous uh, like editor's notes and snuff, stuff like that. It's got to be just really on point. <laughs> Managing another retrieve Octarius data, this time in his second quarter of the board, it gives James another four points. So let's do some shooting. Okay. I'm gonna start with these uh, these war bikers. Fives. It's a lot of shots. 
Imagine if there was nine of them. I lose a dude. These guys will unload into him. Five. One wound. Oh, baby. AP note. Hey. Good. That battle wagon, the black one, it is going to put everything into these guys. Four big shooters. Drink five, so fours, one wound. Takes. I think we know what time it is. Ooh, do you hear that? It's Jerry time! Jerry, 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 Jerry! That annoying thing right there. The gladiator? Yeah. It is going to get all the guns. What? I'm gonna give it all the guns, okay. except for the lead launchers, lead launchers into this guy, and the gut buster cannon. Steve is spending his last command point to rotate ion shields on his armiger and try to save it. Five wounds from that at AP1. Yep, I take three. Okay, and now the uh, gut buster for four shots. Okay. Got two. James is spending in response to reroll fail wound. Nope, down to six. Rotating oh. ion shields worked. It's alive, but down to two wounds remaining. She lives. Dang it. Yep, so those orcs go three inches that away. Uh, let's start with the godly Gatling gun. So nine in total wow. there. Fours. Uh, so four of them. Okay. Now all the rest of the gun's doing some work into that gladiator. The uh, boom, boom, blaster. Two, Two shots. Yeah. Got one. Threes. The beast snaggas will shoot that unit there. Sure. Two wounds. Three up. Sluggas. Uh -huh, takes one. Ouch. Nothing left but for the charging. These guys here are gonna charge here. Beast snagger boys, charge them. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. This battle wagon here is gonna charge. Ooh, only a four. Ah, oh, you're in just barely. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. Jerry is gonna stomp a librarian and some heavy intercessors. I don't know about this. I think those vehicles were a bigger threat. I'm gonna charge the boys in against the armature as well. We get an eight. I'll start with the big chop and knob. Hits two times. Four ups. I fail both. Four damage. He explodes. Does he explode? No. The boys take down an armiger. That's two points for bring it down. Now I'm going to do these beast snaggas so they will pile in. Yep. Snagga boys are the mini marines. This could be brutal. So one goes through. Two flat damage. And then the nine guys times three is 27. Nineteen wounds with choppers at AP one. Woof! There yeah. goes that squad. <gasps> wow! Wow! That's a lamenter's roll if I've ever seen one. Woo! <laughs> Super dead. Uh, you know what time it is now? Biker time. Jerry, Jerry. Jerry. The audience at home is either cheering Jerry along with us, or super, or annoyed. like so annoyed, like yeah, cringing, just yeah, cringing. Like, okay, just fight it already. Just stop. Like, I believe uh, your librarian will take the D three mortals. Uh, three. for three. Librarian gets stomped on for three mortals and just dies. Onto those guys. So eight attacks. I guess we'll do this. We'll do the sweep this time. Sure. How do you get on two? All of them? All but one? Yeah, sure. Heavy intercessors take 20 AP3, flat three damage, and are pasted. Bikers now. Yeah, bikers. Start with the knob. And now the oh, loving it. biker boy with the chopper. Oh man, this is huge. Don't even do it. Okay, so then I am going to select these tactical marines, and they're going to fight into the w single wound squig uh, hog. Squig hog. Yep. Two wounds. No. Way. Finally, the squig hog boy goes down. Uh, and then uh, those guys into the bikers. One wound. Miss. Oh, and it kills a biker. Woo! What a great turn for James here. 
Four points on Retrieve Octarius data, two of her engage at all fronts, and two more for Bring It Down, plus his 10 on primary, sees him jump out to 33 points to Steve's current 14. He's got six command points remaining. Gaining a single command point and five on primary, sees Steve jump to 19 points to James 33, still with his turn to score. He's got his work cut out for himself here. He needs to clear James off objectives and keep him from scoring, but he's running out of bodies. So then shooting, uh, so the stalker is going to shoot its guns into those two orc boys right there. Three AP minus ones, two damage apiece. The stalker takes out the boys holding the one objective. That's a good start. Gladiator will shoot its Tempest Bolters into the battle wagon. Okay. On threes, because you're within 12. Yeah. One more. Oh, oh there it two is. Two wounds. You... Woo! You're golden. Still in it. And it's Gatling Cannon. B-Snagger Boys. Which is the B-Snagger Boys? Hit. Oh, no! Gladiator's some targets, but that minus one to hit is really affecting the rules. Uh, another three, so five AP minus ones. Mid one. And then the drop pod will shoot into them as well. One AP nothing. Steve spending his last command point to reroll the wounds versus orcs with a most hated foe, splitting fire on his terminators. We know what happens when you split fire though, don't we? The crack missiles from the um, cyclone missile launcher into the biker. Okay. One hit. Wounds, AP minus two. I get it. And then I'm gonna send all of the storm bolters actually into the, um, into the boys. Okay. Oh no. Because uh, I was running the knights. 12 AP nothings. Mate three, he's alive with one wound, but so screwed to morale. I am going to take those Terminators right. and I'm gonna charge that battle wagon. You need to know. Just, it's what I need. It's not gonna happen. You don't know that. Nope, denied. Mr. Initiative has spoken. And Terminators fail the battle wagon charge. Oh no. Darn it. Bet you some CP would come in handy right about oh, now. Oh, shut up. So time for some leaderships. Give me a one, buddy. Boom, he's still there. A morale roll of one, and the lone boy holds the middle. And then over here, I need to roll a two or less, I believe. No. Nope. No vehicle kills for Steve to bring it down, but he does score three and on gauge in all fronts, taking him up to 22 at the end of the turn with no command points remaining. James sits at 33 with six command points, and 11 point game after three is really super close. Only five for primary again for James, but it takes him to 38 and a command point takes him up to seven. These guys here are just gonna amble around this corner a little bit to get between you and the objective. Let's do some shooting. B Snagger boys will just shoot their pistols over there. Nope, this guy here is gonna shoot into them. Three wounds, <laughs> no AP. Whoa. Come on, kill a dude, kill a dude, kill a dude, kill a dude. No. Oh. This battle wagon is gonna unload into them. One wound. Yep, you wow. deserve it. Oh, I forgot to move Jerry. Can I move him now? Yeah. Just be careful. Gut bust a cannon in the uh, lead launches into your captain, and then I'll put everything else into the stalker. Looks like the captain and the stalker are gonna have a bad day. A Jerry day. It's gonna be Jerryific. Fours. Yep. Three at AP1. Oh, loving it. 2d6 from the gut busta. Oh, not a one, oh, dude. Oh, dude. Not even one. Oh, no. Telling me no. Okay, um, the no. captain lives. The captain lives, even wound him. I'm gonna do the death ray first. Here we go. Loving it. Strength 18. So you're, I'm, it's toughness eight, so on twos. It's just three D6 damage. Oh, it's a one. Oh man, this into the box. 
Ten. Uh, let's do the boom boom gun. D6 right. shots. For six. So one wound. AB minus three. Let's come on, roll your six. Let's see it. No. He dies a lot. He rolls one down. See if he blows. No, he doesn't. Oh, but the captain lives. However, the stalker didn't, and that's another two bring it down points. Why can't they explode? Wow. A single explosion. I'm very disappointed in this game, Steve. Charge time. Right here with the bike. Bam, makes it with ease. Mm. Beast snag a boys into them. Yep. Oh, surprise, surprise with ease. Right here into the Terminators with my one wound. Yeah. Full on 11. Huh. Holy smokes. Wrap them up, boys. Boom. Jerry goes where now? The gladiator? The gladiator. Okay. Snake eyes. Snake eyes! Jerry into the gladiator now. Oh my lanta, this is gonna be rough. First, the red roll the battle wagon into the Terminators. He takes one out. Then here? Yeah. If I pass one of these, I live to is only two damage. Just need one six. Don't do it, Steve. Please, baby, do this for me. Wah! <laughs> oh, yes! What a save from Steve! The Inceptor lives! The power snapper from the uh, beast snag of boss. Here we go. Gets it. Nope. Two flat damage. Three guys left. Beast snag of boys chopping up some mini marines and they hold. I lose one guy. But now it's time for Jerry. Jerry. Here comes Jerry. Oh, Jerry. He does some mortals to himself, but it doesn't really matter as he's done 15 D3 plus 15 damage to that Gladiator Reaper. No, explode, dude. Okay, explode. Yeah, let's explode first. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're very disappointed. Dude, no, sorry. If, you know what? If we were playing 7th edition, we'd have had tons of explosions because yeah. we've rolled ones on all of them. Yeah. Okay, so fight back. Okay, so there. Two wounds. I take one. Down to three. Uh, yeah, so there. And then on forest. He dead. Terminators finally popped the red roll of wagon, but what a turn. Four more grinded down, five more primary, and two more engaged in all fronts takes him to 44, and still seven command points to Steve's 24, and no command points. Steve's turn four here, and some quick math hammer will see him score one more retrieve Octarius data for four points, and not much else. He did score two for bring it down on James's turn. That'll take him to 30 with no real way to score any more at all. That was one seriously close game, but it, it, epic. it, it was it was epic. I, I felt like I was like the last couple of turns it was hard, like you just I just couldn't keep up with the killing power. But man, Jerry. He did all the work. That Jerry is just too much. Looks like our final score is going to be 40 for Steve to 63 for your winner and God bust a mega stomper pilot extraordinaire, James Mr. Initiative Jones. What a great game from our players, Steve and James, and from our Patreons for a really fun mission. That God bust a mega stomper is absolutely amazing and our Patreons definitely did it up right with some straight up orky rules and crazy whatnots. Special thanks as well to this episode's sponsor, Cromlech. If you're looking for amazing alternative sculpts, full-on terrain setups, official Frostgrave terrain, or if you're a fan of Jerry and want one for yourselves, check them out at cromlack.eu and be sure to tell them Playon sent you. I'm so I could mooch this for APOC? <sighs> okay, but don't tell Nick. Okay. Okay. Out to all of our patrons, a gigantic thank you from everybody here at Play on Tabletop. We really appreciate your support and we really could not do this without you. If you liked what you saw here, consider supporting us as we endeavor to bring you engaging, exciting, and what we think is awesome content. If you can't support us on Patreon, that's okay too, as even by watching, commenting, and subscribing to our content, you help us reach a wider audience and inspire more people to play this hobby that we love. That's it for this episode, folks. On behalf of all of us here at Play On, this is JT McDowell saying, until the next time you see us in the grim dark universe of the far flung future. Jerry, 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 Jerry,